Financial experts believe there are three lifetime goals every financial strategy should address. Joining us now is Chris Jones from Edward Jones. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Jody. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So what are these three lifetime strategy goals? Well, I think it's important that people plan ahead. And there's really three areas that's very important that people should think about, uh, mainly because we go through life in cycles. And if we're not prepared for those cycles, I think we fare much better if we're ready for them before they happen. First of the three uh, goals would be uh, retirement. No matter what age you are, there's three different phases of retirement. There's preparing for retirement, there's the transitioning into retirement, and then of course, once one retires, they're, they're living in retirement, and that can last a long time. So those are three areas that need to be discussed and planned. Secondly, would be to prepare for the unexpected. Last year with COVID-19, that was an unexpected, very hard to plan for, but this is why people should have an emergency fund, make sure they have adequate life insurance for their future, and they should prepare over time to make sure their changes are adequate, and then finally, the third one that's important is your estate uh, and your legacy. You want to make sure that you know what those we'd like to be, make sure you've got everything lined up for your beneficiaries, and also talk about what type of legacy you would like to have. And what's the easiest way to go about jotting these down? You know, do you come with your spouse to a table, the kitchen table maybe, and just talk about, here's what we want for our future. Here's what we want for retirement. I think it's two-step. I think the husband and wife should plan accordingly if they're married or an individual should plan for themselves. But I think once they plan and come up with an ideal plan for how they want to proceed with their life planning, they should share that information with their children or their loved ones or those who will be involved. Uh, a lot of times it's important to maybe talk about uh, setting up things in case something could happen to us later in life. Uh, you might need something like a durable power of attorney. So it's probably good to check with an attorney. It's probably good to check with your tax person. And also, I think a financial advisor can do a lot to help make sure people are on the right track. I love the question, you know, what do you want your legacy to be? Because there are certain causes that everyone wants to support. How do you go about doing that, making sure that you're leaving things for those causes? Well, a lot of people over their years have perhaps made charitable contributions off and on. So there could be some organizations that have helped them in their lifetime that they would like to pay back. Uh, and it can be done again. You can do it prior to your death. Some people like to pay as they go uh, and see the benefits of it while they're living. Other people will set it up so it's passed on thereafter. Either way, I think you need to have a plan. You should discuss it uh, with yourselves and you want to share it with your family members. And what if um, you are the beneficiary of money while you're either in retirement, prior to retirement? Do you have any advice on what if you get a windfall? What if you win the lottery? Like, do people need to actually plan for things like that or have that thought in the back of their mind? <laughs> well, I think people dream about winning the lottery or inheriting a lot of money, but in, unless they have a rich uncle or they buy lottery tickets, those <laughs> dreams might go unfounded. I think it's just good that people uh, plan uh, the best way they can. Um, if you do get money that you're not sure what you should do with it, the first thing you should do is just park it. Don't don't act on your emotions. Don't don't do anything based on fear or greed. But come up with some plans, both short and long term, and make sure you have an emergency fund. I think that's probably the most important thing today. With all the unexpected, make sure you have enough money to get you through any emergency for the time. And invest with Edward Jones. They'll tell you what to do. Right. <laughs> Thank we'll do you. Our best. Thank you so much, Chris Jones, for joining us. Thank you, Jody. Thank you.